Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you 10 essential things to do after installing Debian testing with XFCE desktop environment. This is in some sense a continuation of my Debian video series. In my previous video I showed the right way to install Debian testing. If you missed it, check out the link in the description below. So number one, set up sudo and install package manager synaptic. Open the terminal and switch to root. Then type apt install sudo. When sudo is installed, we need to add our user to the sudo group. To do that, type add user, your username, sudo. So our username is added to the group sudo. Now we can exit. To install package manager synaptic, you need to type sudo apt install synaptic. At the same time, we also test our sudo command. In addition to this, we need to install a few more packages, which are essential to make synaptic work properly. These are gksu, apt, xapi and index, policy kit one gnome, and type your password. So as you see, our sudo works and the packages are installing. Number two, install whisker menu. Open Synaptic Package Manager and in the search bar search for Whisker. Then mark for installation XFCE4 Whisker menu plugin. After the installation go to the panel, panel preferences and in the tab items remove previous menu and also the action button and add Whisker menu. So when the Whisker menu is added to the panel move it to the position where you want it, in my case it's in the top. And here it is the Whisker menu, much more convenient and much nicer menu. Number three, configure non-free repositories. So type cat slash atc slash apt slash sources dot list. As you can see here, we only have the main repositories in our list. So let's edit this file. Use sudo nano to open this file. And in the file to every line where you have the word main, you also need to add contrib and non-free. When your source list is edited, it's good practice to make a update and also upgrade. And after the upgrade is a good practice to reboot your system. Number four, install key applications and packages. Here I will install many packages, so I will provide the list of them in the description below. So these uh, applications include build essentials that will be required to compile packages in the future, and many XFCE specific and general usage programs, such as image viewer, terminal client, text editor, network manager, video and music players, and of course, office suite. Number five, install drivers. If you have a dedicated video card, you may benefit from installing a proprietary video drivers. In my case, it's uh, integrated graphics and it works out of the box, so I'm not going to install anything. But I will show you how to install the microcode. It's a specific package which helps your processor to behave correctly. So go to Synaptic and search for microcode. And here select either IMD64 microcode or Intel microcode, depending on what processor you have. So I'm going to install Intel microcode. And after this, you need to reboot your system. Step six, configure the firewall. In the step one, we have installed UFW app, which is a firewall setting hub. Let's enable it. First, we need to check if it's activated. Type sudo UFW status. As you can see, it's not active. So now we can enable it and check its status again. So it's active. Or even better, we can type status verbose and it will show us the settings. So these are the default settings which are usually okay for most of the users. So it will deny all incoming connection and allow outgoing. If you want something more complicated, you can go and learn about IP tables and make your firewall settings very sophisticated. Number seven, speed up the boot time. During the boot process, you probably have seen this screen with the group menu and it stays there for five seconds and then the system starts to boot. So let's save our time and disable it. To do that, type sudo nano slash atc slash default slash grab and in the file search for grab timeout equal five and change it to zero. Then save the changes by using ctrl O and ctrl X to exit, update group, now after the reboot your system will not have this 5 seconds delay. Number 8. Configure ID and Display Manager. Every time you log in you need to type your username and password. This is a little bit inconvenient, so let's make the settings that our Display Manager remembers the username and we need to type only the password. To do that we need to create the file with the path uh, slash usr slash share slash ydm slash ydm dot conf dot d slash 01 underline my dot con and place inside that file 
the following lines square brackets see defaults and greater height users equal false ctrl o ctrl x to save the file and exit and then reboot your system after the reboot the light dm will display your username automatically nine make some settings tweaks so go to xfce settings and then to window manager here i prefer to remove the shade button because as you can see shade button just scrolls your window into the title bar i don't like this and i don't use it so i remove button and I also remove the maximize button because I maximize my windows with double click on the title bar. This is much more convenient in my view. Next go to the advanced tab and uh, for windows snapping activate to other windows. This will make the alignment of the windows much easier. Here you can also change the settings for the double click action on the title bar. In my case it's set to maximize window. Next go to the window tweak manager and here in the placement tab make settings to the latch. So with default settings uh, when you open the window it it opens randomly somewhere in your desktop as you can see here but if you make the settings to the large all windows will open in the center so this is uh, in my view is a bit more convenient another thing i find very useful is to set up a shortcut for x kill command so to do that go to the keyboard shortcut and here um, uh, create a new shortcut for x kill and i use a alt ctrl escape combination so if i type alt ctrl escape my cursor turns into such a crow and if I click with this cross on any application that got frozen, it will kill it. This is much more convenient than going to the terminal and search for the ID of the application that got frozen and kill it through the terminal. And my final setting would be to go to the session and start up. And in the tab application auto start, I check uh, what application I activated for auto start on my system. So I may disable some of them or activate. For example, in this case, I will activate Clipman, which is a very nice clipboard manager. And I will disable a screen worker. I don't need the screen worker on this testing machine and finally number 10 remove unneeded applications and clean the system so i remove just two applications on this system it's xterm and mat so to do that go to synaptic and in the search bar search for xterm then activate it for complete removal search for mat and also activate it for complete removal so when these applications are removed open the terminal and type sudo apt auto remove and for the last part sudo apt clean well that's it thank you for watching Watching, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. In my next video I will show how to make XFCE desktop look modern and beautiful. And please leave a comment if there is something important that you would do on your Debian testing install but I didn't show it.